Hey friends, it's Simon Hurley and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing my Simon Hurley Create Stamping Film and a technique with it that I know you guys haven't thought of before. And also, I'm going to be showing a brand new and beautiful Unike Designs release. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right guys, so for today's technique, we're gonna be using four pieces of the Simon Hurley Create Stamping Foam. It comes in a pack of four, so you can use that, or you can use five to make it even larger. It really is up to you guys. But if you didn't know, you can actually stamp with the edges of the Simon Hurley Create Stamping Foam. So I'm gonna share a really awesome way to use them and get a different color combination than you usually would. So let's get into it. I'm gonna take these and start off by standing them on my surface here. I'm gonna use this kind of, um, this section for stamping, but of course you could do it the opposite way and use the sides of it like this too. So I'm gonna line them up in order like this, just make sure that everything is kind of how I would like it and even. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my mint tape and I'm just going to tape them down tightly. So you just want to make sure that they're all lined up and then kind of tightly wrap that around there. I like to just kind of pull a little bit to make sure that they're all nice and taut. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Just grab a large piece of that mint tape and tape it down like this. And you guys will see kind of doing it really nice and tight to keep those together. What this does on this side is create a nice surface of four of these that we're going to kind of squeeze together as we stamp in the pressure. So let's create something that we're gonna take the texture off of. For today's texture, I'm gonna use the new Gina K Design stamp set called Fresh Flowers. This one's designed by Melanie Munchinger and I think is just absolutely stunning with all of these different silhouettes. Now for today, I'm going to be using the different images in this set to create a texture on my card. So I'm just going to grab a couple of these different stamps. We'll kind of place them down onto my work surface here. And I want to create a texture large enough to stamp my stamping foam into. So all you need to do is take out a couple of different images from the stamp set, lay them down in kind of creating your own background stamp manner. Of course, you could totally use your background stamp or embossing folder or anything that I've shared to create that beautiful texture with your stamping foam. But today I decided I was gonna use this new stamp set. All right, so once I've got everything laid out and down like this, I'm going to grab my stamping foam block that I've created here. I'm gonna grab my heat tool. Now this is a Ranger heated tool. It's gonna to get just as hot as other heat tools, but I like it because it disperses the heat a little bit more. So it's not gonna keep the heat focused in one area, which allows this to kind of heat up all together. I'm gonna heat it for about 10 to 15 seconds till this is nice and warm. And then we can take this and move very quickly right into our stamp there to get our good texture. Once I pull that out, there we have our awesome background image. Now, of course, if it doesn't get perfect the first time, you can always reheat it and then try again and it'll go flat and back to normal. But I think one misconception with the stamping foam is it doesn't need to be a super deep impression. In fact, if it's little like this, you'll actually get all of that amazing texture in there because you don't need to press as hard in order to stamp it down. All right, now you might have been wondering why exactly you'd wanna do this. And the reason being is because now I can split these up and separate them and color them each individually and then put it back together and stamp it. So I'm gonna show you guys here. For this first one, I'm gonna use a little bit of Prom Queen. I'm gonna separate this from the rest and I'm just going to ink that up. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing that I've been doing when I ink up stamping foam if you've seen me do it before. Instead of tapping the ink on, I'm gonna kind of swipe or rub my ink onto the surface and that's gonna give me the best inked result when I'm using my stamping foam. It goes against a lot of the other rules of inking up stamps. For this next one, I'm gonna use Guppy, which is my orange. And then again, like this can just fall down and kind of split these up because we've already got the image and they're still all attached together nicely. So I'll ink it up with a little bit of guppy. And I'm able to do some shading too. So I'm gonna go in on the edges with just a little bit of a darker version of the same color for each one. So here I used a little bit of traffic cone. Then I'll go in with a lighter gator. And I find if you kind of lift them up like this, they'll kind of fall and separate so you can easily ink them up without it touching the other one. Last but not least, I'll go in with a little bit of clear skies. 
And then to shade it, I'll go in with just a bit of Remember Me on both of the edges. So once you're done inking, you just want to kind of push them together again. If they've moved at all, just kind of reposition them, wiggle them back into place. But it should be held on with your tape that you've put down there. And this looks really great. I'm so excited to stamp it down. All right, so I'm gonna take this and then again, I like to mist it with water. You don't have to do this, but I keep it at a little bit of a distance and then I fully mist it about three, two to three times and that's gonna give you a nice fine mist. I don't like any globs on the surface. I don't want it to be super watercolory. I just like a little bit of a fine mist to help transfer the color down. And then I'm going to take my foam I'm going to line it up exactly how I want it, and then I'm going to press it and give it good pressure to stamp it all down. And just by pressing on the top here, you should get enough pressure to transfer all of that ink. And then when you lift it off, you have all of that awesome color. I love that it's a fully, like, image so it goes all throughout here but then it's different color blocks on each one and you totally can't achieve this with your stamping foam by itself because each one of these has such a distinct line which i really love there's a little bit of excess ink here so i'm going to just mist it again to get that ink moving a little bit and we'll see can we get anything off of here let's just try stamping it again seeing if we can get another print from it give it good pressure all throughout and there we go, there's a little bit more of a pastel version so you can get kind of two prints out of this, whether you really like the bright colors or you want a little bit more of a toned down version, these are super cool. All right, and then to clean it, if you're using my ink pads, they come off really easily so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water and clean this off. And then of course, with any stamping foam that you have, you can keep stamping this and use it as is. The stamp impression is gonna stay in there. Or you can go in and if you want to change it up or use it for a different one, you can reheat it. And what this is going to do is it's going to flatten it out just like it was at the beginning, which is so much fun. And then you're able to continue to reuse this foam over and over again which is so awesome. So now this is all flat again. I'd recommend taking off the pieces of tape if you're not gonna use it like this, again, right away, just so that you don't get a ton of marks where that tape was. But yeah, these foams can be used over and over. And again, if you wanna stamp using this side, that would be another great way to use this same technique. I'll definitely do another video in the future showing stamping on the side because I think it's such a fun effect. Now to finish off today's card, I'm gonna go in and use this little butterfly image from that exact same stamp set from Gina K. And I'm gonna go in with the same colors too. So I used a little bit of Prom Queen for the top one and then I'm also going to shade it just by using the edge of my ink pad and touching it right to the center there with a little bit of bee sting. So there's our first colored butterfly to match. For the second butterfly, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of guppy. And then I like to shade this with a little bit of traffic cone. And again, just a lightly tap right in the center to get a little bit of shading. That's just stunning. Last but not least, I'll go in with a little bit of Psych, which is this really awesome lime green color, and then a little bit of Later Gator to add some shading to that. Now I'm gonna go in and fussy cut these butterflies out. I do this pretty quickly with my scissors. I believe this set probably has a die set, which I'll link down below too as well. But if you're not getting the die set, you can always use a scissors and fussy cut them out. And I really love this Fiskars Spring Assist scissors. It has a spring that opens the scissors back up for you so your hands don't get tired. And I find that I'm able to fussy cut a lot easier with it. And it's really easily able to get into all of those little details. So that's what I really recommend. And then I also just move the paper instead of moving the scissors around. And I find that by moving the paper, you kind of bend it a little bit less and you're able to get a lot smoother lines, which I find to be really helpful as I do all of my fussy cutting. All right, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of foam tape down and then I'm going to place the butterflies in kind of a little visual triangle going across the card here and I like them in this grouping of three. And I just like to use a little bit of foam tape so that it stays nice and dimensional on the card. And I'm gonna add them kind of 
on top of or kind of overlapping their respective colors. And I really like that it all matches really beautifully on the card. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep this super simple and use this sentiment from the stamp set that we've been using today. And this sentiment just really simply says, hi, which can be used so nicely in any occasion. So I'm going to stamp that down just using some Jet Black Archival ink so it stands out on today's card. And there we have today's card. I hope you guys really loved this. I felt like it was so awesome. I've been kind of thinking about how you could use the edge and taping those four together to get a bunch of different colors is super cool. And like I said, you could tape on a fifth one to kind of fill out the whole card, or you could use the opposite longer edge to get a whole nother look as well. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with today's technique. Leave me a comment down below what you guys thought of it. And also I'll have links down below to the stamping foam and Gina K's new release. And using those links helps support me so I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below so you never miss another card making and crafting video like this one from me. Alright guys I'll see you very very soon and thank you so much for spending today with me. Bye!